Alright, so before I start, I want to say that unlike Fallout 3, well, Fallout 3 has a couple things where you, you have to make choices and you can't really get to see everything. Like the Slaver's mission, you gotta shoot him in the head. I mean, I guess you can do it and then kill the Mater, but whatever. My point is, this game, The Outer Worlds, has a few things. It's got a faction system, so when you pick a faction, you will miss out on other things. So it can't exactly be as comprehensive as Fallout 3, but I'm still going to... The plan is to do every mission that I feasibly can within the choices that I make and all the side quests and everything else like that. Which is why I named it the sort of comprehensive run, well, sorta, which is the same thing that Fallout New Vegas is probably going to end up being because it's impossible to really to do everything in one run, and I don't want to play the game over and over. So let's start a new one on normal. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's make it a little bigger. It's kind of small. Try two. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, now we get into the important part, which is making our character. Now, I always like to go for a intelligent talky kind of person so that's probably what I'm gonna do but we also need to do some some fun things in the beginning because such as when you lower all this when you lower a stat he'll make a comment and when you raise a stat to the highest he'll also comment let's just hope you're handy with a gun good metabolism high likelihood of digesting so tuna hmm two left feet huh no matter bored outlawed dancing years ago But are your wits as quick as your fingers? It says here that you solved mathematical problems just for fun. Oh dear, you spelled your name with a five. <laughs> You're about as subtle as the Spacer's Choice mascot. Nothing gets past you. You would have made a formidable constable. Oh dear, someone vandalized your hibernation chamber. I bet you're going to be very popular in this colony. It says you had a habit of snarling at people. I hope you won't yell at me the moment I wake you up. If you were any more composed, you'd be a symphony. And I think, yeah, because he's he's picking a colonist to wake up. So when you I change these pressure. stats, could keep you from blacking out at least. If you'll notice, the robot in the back keeps moving back and forth, so it's picking a different person every time. If you were any more composed, you'd be a symphony. 
which is a nice touch. Okay, now what do we really want to do? Let's see, Dexterity has Lockpick on it. Perception affects headshots. I do want high... I do want high intelligence because I want high science. A genius! And the board was going to leave you to rot. And I do want higher perception for lockpicking. You're going to have people hanging off you like tumors on a cysty pig. Health regen is probably pretty nice to have, but not. I bet you could thaw yourself with sheer rage. Not important. I don't think there's anything important in there. Lie. No, whatever. That's fine. Put this on high. I'm just making this up on the fly, by the way. I don't remember how good or bad each of these are. Only played the game once before. Uh, the amount you can carry would probably be nice to have up. Yeah, one point in strength would be nice, just so I can carry more garbage. A high intelligence, high charm, and a slightly higher perception. Now, do I want charm that high, or do I want dexterity up? No. Okay. Let's. Yes, high charm, high intelligence, slightly higher perception, slightly higher strength. That sounds good. And that'll change. If I go back and change those, it'll change the what these are. As you can see, my science is super high, my hack is super high, persuade is very high. But what do we want to start off with? Dialogue. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. We get plus ten in each. Melee, I'll probably never use. Maybe I'll use it for fun, but probably not. Now, range would be a nice investment. Significantly increased dodge and block skills. Leap, dodge forward, I remember being pretty cool. Oh, I don't remember that being... Did they add that in? I don't remember there being 150... Maybe that was added in with the... With the DLC. Oh, the 150 point virtuoso option? That was not, that was not a thing before. Chance to cower, chance to scramble... Yeah, those are, oh, those are new, I'm pretty sure. Hack, hack turned off auto mechanicals. The first item in every locked container, which is free to open, can be stolen without consequence. Well, anytime I'm going to steal anything, I'm going to steal everything, so it's pointless. Now, drug mixing in the inhaler is pretty nice, but this game's not that difficult, so it's not important. What I want to know, make sure is that I can talk my way out of any situation that I need to. That's just leadership just helps with companions. I don't care, no. But I also want to be able to use science and medical checks. But do I want to invest some in guns off the bat? Or do I want to invest in tech off the bat? I can get a second drug mixing slot. Field repair is really necessary. <laughs> but I won't reach it anyways. Let's just start off. Yeah, let's no, we're gonna start off with tech and dialogue. You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Let's see what else he says though. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. You could have been a goalie for a tossball team. I hear monarchs in need of more game hunters. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. Chairman material, or at least captain. 
All right, tech and dialogue. Would have been wasted in a corporate lab. Sounds good. Next. Okay. These are just these are more for a joke. You get like the tiniest effect possible. But actually, engineering plus one would actually be really good. Actually, I might have to pick that one just solely because it'll get my engineering to 20 and then I can field repair. But, uh, let's just take a look. Colonists sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day-to-day -day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Determination plus one. For no discernible aptitude. Beverage service technician. The Halcyon colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've made concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Drink effect duration plus 3%. Eh. The universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. So we can be a rank zero bureaucrat, or we can be a cashier subgrade non-supervisory. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the kachunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up, the redemption of loyalty points, and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now are more than empty words, they're a promise, and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. Hilarious, but don't... I'm... We're, I'm... I'm leaning towards engineer. <clears throat> Construction, electrician class, wi oh, a wire spooler. That's a good job. Contrary to popular belief, cable management is an art form. Something about hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow just makes you sigh with relief. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep the power flowing. That's your burden to shoulder. Shock damage minus 3%. Elevator operations specialist. A proper, lift, <laughs> a proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. That's going to be us. I think we might be an elevator operator. Specialist. Factory worker, conveyor operator. Safety and, efficiently, and efficiency don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your coworkers at the factory were amputees. You survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you've managed to keep all of yours. Dodge plus one. Dirt farmer. You got into this business for the tubers, but you stayed for the plowing, planting, pruning, and plucking. It isn't honest work if you come home clean. Worms need dirt, and food needs worms. You're just doing your part for the worms. And ray damage minus three. Food additive taster. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious borscht smoothie, but most of the time it means sw swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise. Now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken in saddle, it's easy to explore your culinary limits. Food effect duration plus three. Janitor sanitation class. You spend your evenings Kneeling over ominous stains with a bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant, above your prey grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist of erasure. When you're on the job, there's no trace to be found. Corrosion damage minus three. That's a nice one. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stick couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocks some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Inspiration plus one. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons, who entrusted you with st stuffing cotton balls into pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illnesses doesn't take a formal education when a search terminal and a little imagination will do the trick. Junior grade medical tech, nice. Medical plus one. In your line of work, the corporation's bottom line needs more protection than its personnel. Guardrails aren't free, thermal shielding needs replacing, and a hatch that seals reliably is a luxury. You're on the vanguard of ensuring that every possible expense is spared, since corners don't cut themselves, yet. You prefer to think of workplace accidents as happy little coincidences. Nice. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in the business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. 
sub sous chef. Oh, a sub sous chef. The hierarchy of a modern kitchen is a ladder of many rungs. Your role as assistant to the second deputy chef's aide is one of middling distinction, but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual, emptying of grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration. You're holding out for that advancement to poultry inspection, which is due in a year now. One hand to melee plus one. Okay, so as far as I know, the damage received ones, I, I don't know if this is true, but I think those are like pretty, I think those are unique. You can't really get those. The, the other ones just give you plus one point in a thing. But since we're at 19 engineering and I want 20, I think we'll be an elevator operations specialist. That was our Not former job. Risk of injury in this profession. Oh, I didn't know that he made a comment on these two. Good for you. Don't let the board tell you what you're meant to be. You were a swill jockey? Waste of good talent. Three promotions away from junior bean counter. Working your way up to provisioner? Construction, eh? How riveting. A laborer. You'll have plenty of company. Uh, you're going to be so disappointed by our dirt. <laughs> Ah, I see. A gourmand by trade. You know what they say, cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Oh, the damage to your soul may be irreparable. Junior grade? Oh, morphine dispenser. Mmm, you're going to hate what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> I wonder what experiments you were subjected to. I'll have to ask you for a good sisty pig recipe. This colony does love its elevators. Your career was on the rise. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now the most important part, appearance, which is not really. I'm going to play as a female character. Is there a randomized option? Give me a ran- oh yes there is, it's Y. Okay, let's hit Y until we find one we like. Oh, it randomizes gender too? No, I don't want to randomize the gender. I want to just randomize the face. But I guess that's not a thing. Okay, the randomize randomize option is not doing too hot these days. I'm not sure I like any of these. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. Hold on. I can't go back to that first man. I should. Oh, default. There we go. That's a hundred times better than any of those. Now let's just look at the heads. Yeah, eight number eight is pretty cool. Both eights. I'm white as a sheet, so we're gonna make her white. Okay, don't I don't want to mess with any of these things at all. Thank you. Let's just let's just check the hairstyles. I like I like the red. But purple might be good. That's a nice shade. It's hard to tell with this lighting what shade of color exactly I'm going to get. There's no zoom in feature. I guess we'll just, that's a good position. Okay, five is pretty good. Eight, eight might be, ooh. Twelve. Eleven or twelve might be nice. Then again, thirteen's pretty good too.
Yeah, 17 is not bad. Do I want to go through 34 eyebrows right now? I guess I do. I don't, I don't really have a preference. Except for not this one. Let's just go with 32. That looks good. Mm, tempting, but no. Makeup. Wait, hold on. Is there an ear? Now I'm getting in too into this. I don't want to do that. No. Eye color, though. Here we go. Ooh, seven's pretty cool. Eleven's also seven eleven. Also good option. I kind of like the white eyes, like staring at your soul kind of thing. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Make fat cheeks. I, I honestly cannot tell the difference. This is very subtle. Uh, but there is no option for like different ears. Oh, it comes with the face. So like eight the best. That's pretty cool. Hair style now. I do like this actually. This is probably I might stick with this, but let's check them anyways. Number eight's pretty cool though. Yeah, I think I might just stick with the default one. I kinda like this one. Uh, makeup seems pretty stupid. Yeah, I don't like any of these. Oh, dirt might not be bad. Eh. Now, do I want to be a badass? With all oh, these these scars are not like, oh, well, they're not as cool as I was hoping. Nope, I don't like any of those. I guess that's us because I don't really want to customize anymore. That's us. Looking pretty stylish. Shit. Hold on. Next, I gotta actually use the keyboard. I think. Haley, because we name all our characters Haley for reasons nobody will ever find out. Alright, here's our summary. We're elevator operations specialists. We're very intelligent, very charming, perceptive and strong, and uh, average dexterity and temperaments. But this should have brought my... Wait, my engineering's 25? Oh, I'm I'm already wearing a hibernation suit that's raising it by five. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Our hibernation suit is raising all of our tech stats. Okay, let's just let's get started. That's us. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please 
Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something more? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? <laughs> Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Alright, so that's how the game also, starts. Mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Wells told him to plant the beacon. He planted the beacon and we landed right on his head. Also, I might actually make the subtitles even bigger because they're still kind of small. Yeah, let's do four. We get a nice tutorial. Nice beautiful tutorial. These are sprats. Hmm. 
We got one Marauder Thug. While sneaking, use tall grass rocks or other things to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Okay, gotta remember the controls. X is to take things. Looks like he got his legs eaten while he was eating. Okay, tall grass. Unlike unlike Fallout, you can actually use the environment. Instead of just shadows, you can actually hide in tall grass. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell if you if they're unaware, suspicious, investing any or alerted. So they're gonna start getting suspicious right now. As you can see by the white bars. Now it's in yellow, so now he's suspicious. But we're fine. for a while there's bound to be unforeseen side effects also we can slow down time now and wells knows this somehow i guess this wireless monitor is that good okay we break our legs we have an uh, an emergency medical inhaler which uses one adreno and we have 11 Which is a healing system I, I like. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. All right, he's crazy. So let's patch him up, though. Sit still. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yeah, Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Let's see, do we want to be nice to him? What's this about marauders? What are you doing out here? You were hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Uh, let's ask about the marauders. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? See, they start you off. This is why I, I like this about this tutorial. And everybody will have the skills to pass these checks. So you just gotta make your pick. You wanna persuade? Give me your gun, I'll go get help. Someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down for you. Or you're an idiot, give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Uh, we'll be nice. Persuade. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. As far as I know, I don't think the weapons can actually malfunction while you're using them. Which would be amazing if they did, but I guess that was, that was out of the budget. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. See, that's something I remember now that I'm playing this that I never understood. Even in this first loading screen before this, they, sh they show like a, a newspaper where it says Remembering the Hope's 60 year anniversary. But somehow everybody's forgotten about it. Even though they have hold held an anniversary like 10 years ago. But nobody ever knows about it. Everybody always is 
or they think it's some kind of like rumor that's not real. Alright. Alright, now this is the uh, traditional let's take everything you own. Dehydrated water tablets. Fantastic. Right, let me get back to the controls. A jump, B crouch, sprint, aim, shoot. Still holster our weapons by holding X. Thanks for patching me up. All right, let's let's look at the actual menu. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon and selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. All right, here's our inventory. We can look at everything. Pistol does 22 damage a shot, Saber does 36 damage per hit, of a DPS of 73, and a DPS of 110 on the pistol. And they both do bleed damage. Standard issue to military recruits. This is probably the most common handgun in the entire colony. It's not a bad little gun, and it's a great source of parts. Yeah, I think the condition goes down, but they don't, I don't think they actually malfunction. I'll have to find out. I don't know, I don't think they actually like jam like they do in Fallout in New Vegas. Anyways, we got options to add to junk, or we can hold X to just break it down. Or I think if we just hit, where do we hit Y? What is this? Equip, drop, break down, repair. Yeah, hitting equip just puts it in your queue of weapons. To wear an armor or helmet item, navigate to it, Volcade. Here's our hibernation suit we started with, 3 armor, light, tech skills plus 5. Okay, so now we can add some things to our inhaler, because our medicine's high enough. So instead of just getting an Adreno, which is 25% health over 2 seconds, we can also get any of these. Base health plus 25. Plus 200% natural health regeneration, or body attributes plus one. Let's throw in a Saltuna for now. So when we heal, we'll also get base health plus 25%. These are basically lockpicks, and you just use them. No lockpicking minigame, thank you. I'm a, I'm a fan of not having that, unless they wanted to make something new. Lockpicking gets pretty old. Having to play the minigame every time, no thank you. Right, here's our usual stuff. Here's the perk tree. I don't, I think they added some stuff with the DLC. But I'm not sure. You deal increased damage based on the number of flaws you have. Yeah, I don't think these were in here. I think they cut off. I think they added four per, like, level. 15% companion crit chance, science weapon magazine size, base C, base armor rating plus 5 no matter what. That sounds pretty good. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't think there was a lone master. I don't think there was a lone wanderer equivalent in the original game. All skills plus 5 if no companions are in the party. All skills plus 10 if no companions are recruited. We're not going to do that, obviously, because we wanted to pick companion quests, but that's a, that's an interesting option. Bonus to dialogue skills when you have no companions. Snake oil salesman. Yeah, these are, these are new, I think. Whenever you are affected by a harmful combat effect, you deal increased damage. That sounds good. Improvised weapons deal vastly more damage. Any subsequent attack made on the same target while in tactical it's TTD tactical time dilation 
deals increased damage. So this is basically what's the perk called in Fallout? There's an, there's an equivalent to this one where every hit you hit in Vats does more damage. And reduce the detection rate. Okay, interesting. We'll have to look at these more closely later. Here's just our current who we are. We can sprint at 7.2 meters per second. And we already have primary reputations that they're all neutral. Just gotta find Hawthorne's chip. Okay, and these are explaining the tutorials again. Now if I hit start, yes, yeah, start menu brings me to this menu, back gives me to this one. Of course. Item degradation. Weapons and armor degrade with use, inflicting or preventing less damage as the item's durability decreases. Okay, so they do get worse technically, but I don't believe they jam. Eating and, and drinking supernova thing. You must eat every few hours. We don't need to worry about that. In supernova difficulty, the only way you can only rest in your bed on your ship. No, thank you. So that's if you want to get real survival like, which I definitely do not. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. So, what, either whatever dialogue skill we have up will affect the prices. Okay. These are interesting that they're all here, even though we've never come across any of these things. Small percentage of weapons and armor you find are considered pristine and have more durability. Cool. All right, don't need to know. Well, if we need to look anything up, we will. Here's our here's our beautiful map. This is Edgewater, or Emerald Vale, sorry. Edgewater's the town right here. Now, the first time I played this game, I explored all this stuff just on its own before I even went to the town. That was a bad, that was a bad idea, okay? Something I remember specifically about this game is that they'll, you go here and get the quest, and then the quest will point you to almost all these locations. There's not really secret locations or, or like hidden locations in the game. There's a quest that will point you to pretty much every single one of these communities. In fact, there's a quest, if I remember right, that's like super late in the game that will point you back to this area, I think. Or it might be, yeah, I think it's this one that you don't get until like super late. So we might explore that on its own, but... We're definitely going to try to pick up the quests first before going to these places. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. Alright, let's actually play the game instead of talking. I think if you kill Sprats, you get Sprat meat. Come back here. Just don't miss every shot. That's, that's how you play the game. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Press tactical time dilation to slow it down. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains it slowly while moving and attacking drains it faster. Okay, so this guy heard us wildly shooting the sprats, of course. He's coming to investigate. Double click the jump button to dodge. Do I, oh, I do I have I actually unlocked that? I have. 
It's the forward one you need to unlock, I think, with skills. Hold on. I think the dodge is somewhere. Yeah, right here. Leap forward, which I do want to unlock. Okay, X is to take stuff. So right now, I might as well just take everything. Sort it out later. Yeah, I guess Brad hides. You found a new weapon. The weapon switch buttons allows you to rotate between weapons you have equipped on the inventory screen. Yeah, so you push Y, it switches between the four you have, but since I only have two right now, it's just going to switch between the two. Your hacking and lockpicking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks, while bypass shunts are used for computers. If your skill is high enough, you will see how many magpicks or shunts you need. Raising your skill will lower the items used. Okay, so I need five. I need five picks to pick this lock, or five mag lock things. Mag picks. Excuse me. I need to raise my lock picking skill badly because that's way too many. Of course, we're still going to do it, but that's ridiculous. All that for a telescoping staff. Which DPS is actually exactly the same as the saber because it's so slow. Three hit swing combos. Or block. But it does, it does have this lovely Spacer's Choice ball on top, which would hurt. Alright, let's be stealthy. Let's be stealth-like. Okay, we're in tall grass, so we're good. Wait till he turns around, and then smack him in the back of the head. Oh, shit. Nope, nope. Yeah, they all know we're here. You can see their health analysis in the time. When you're in time dilation, you can see all that stuff. He's got five armor. Range attacker that wears light armor and uses handguns. Cool. Now, what is a vandal? I guess you can't see when they're dead. You got nothing? I saw we picked up some armor. Rebuilt mining gear. Four armor. Stealth skills plus five. Yes. Hey guys. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Alright. Yeah, don't... See, this is what you gotta pick up. It's just a landing violation let it go is the worst thing you could possibly say to these people. Yep, let's say we found the guy. Really? How is he? 
He'll make it I helped him? No. He specifically said not to mention that. Let's just go with your he's still a moron. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Alright, now here's the question. Do we want them to help us? Either way, we can lie. We can persuade, intimidate, or lie for five to get them to help us. Or we can say, don't worry, I'll handle it. Or coward, I'll do it myself. So there's no, as far I don't think there's any like system where you pick one and it leans you that direction. So I think we can just intimidate because it's the funniest line. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Seriously, but those marauders will. Ugh. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. All right, let's help them out, because they'll die without us. Well, they could possibly die. Can't, can't guarantee. Ooh, a new helmet. Marauders are out of control. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Yes, it is. Sorry about that. Okay, resume. Now we get on the ship. You can fast travel to the locations you have unlocked by opening the map. Oh. That this vessel contains no valuable plunder. All right, so now we got a sweet helmet. So we look sick. We look cool. Where's the map? Okay, yes, yeah, so we can now fast travel straight here if we want to. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. I need four mag picks for that. God damn. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Transfer procedures initiated. Disengage your airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, he realized we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Yeah, is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Uh, yeah, Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. 
If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand, but I'm just gonna fuck with her because I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm not I'm not Hawthorne though, Hawthorne's dead. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Oh, thank you, Ada. <laughs> you don't I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna act dumb. You don't understand, my name is Haley. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Yeah, I doubt we'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. No, because that's not that funny. Yes, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'm Captain Hawthorne now. I'm not Haley. Alright, I've gathered enough experience to level up. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Fine at this time, Captain. Let's talk to her a little bit more. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Oh, I guess she doesn't want to talk right now. Every time you level up, you learn skill points to spend. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that to 50. So you, you get to go up to 50 in the group, and then you go specialized. Armor consumes consumable and statics of status effects can tempor temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't actually unlock the skills that you get every 20. Okay, I want to raise up my lockpick a little bit because that's pissing me off. So let's put one point in stealth. Well, put a couple points in stealth, I guess. I want to get up to twenty. I want to get up to twenty on a lot of things, though. I want dodge up to twenty as well. But I only get ten skill points a level. <coughs> and then let's get that to twenty-five, just for fun. We'll put one here. We'll spread it out a little bit. You have unlocked the dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of, type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Which one was that? I should have already had those. Terrified. 20% chance creatures will become terrified after you kill one. Scramble. 15% chance auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you. Cower. Humans have a 20% chance to cower. Alright, let's pick a perk. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier available to you. Now, there's some good ones. I remember most of the perks in this game not being that interesting. But there are some that are pretty good, like the carry weight one. Now, do I want to get 50% base health? It's pretty nice. Fender prices, okay. Companion kill, XP, whatever. Raising the tactical time dilation meter, not bad. Lasts longer. Oh, lone wolf. Sometimes you're the only person, and that's okay. 
Ability to fast travel when encumbered, not bad. Actual time dilation recharge. 25% walk speed. Actually, print, sprint speed up might be a lot. Might be very nice. Take better care of your weapons. Critical chance. Science weapon magazine. But 5 armor base ratings. Not bad. I think we're going to take sprint speed because we're going to be running around a lot. We're going to be sprinting a lot, so we're going to take that one right off the bat. Now let's look at the ship a little bit. Unfortunately, see, look, at, look, it took me four before, now it's only going to take me two, even though I only raised my lockpick a tiny amount. So I should have raised it off the bat, then I would have had enough to pick this one and the other These one. surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Alright, and you get a nice sawed-off shotgun right here, which is beautiful. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected. You can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with an engineering skill can repair their gear without a workbench, which is what we got, which is nice. So we're not going to need a work... We could use the workbench here. The workbench allows you to repair... It allows you to upgrade, too, just by paying bits. But we don't need it to repair our stuff. Which we're definitely going to repair the shot... Oh, we're, we don't have enough parts to repair the shotgun yet. Fuck. That would have been really good. Um, well, we can break down. Break down, please. How many weapon parts do we get for these? Plus three. Okay, perfect. We can break down these sabers. And repair our shotgun. Okay, it cost me 51 bits to raise the damage by two. It's not bad. We don't have any modifications at the moment. Let's see, we're never going to use the, tele the telescoping rod, or we're not going to use those. We're going to use the pistol and the shotgun, so we can just safely break these down. It's only a cell value of 7.4. That's that's garbage. We're going to keep the hibernation suit because I like it. Seven repair parts for that. No, thank you. Let's just upgrade the shotgun since we have the bits. We have no modifications. Okay, but now we have a sweet shotgun that's going to be crazy damage. What's the DPS of the shotgun now? 187. It's, it's miles better than the other one. Let's see if we can find anything else useful around here. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Right, that's where we're going to put our power regulator when we get one. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Yeah, right before he died and transformed into me. So that's so we can reset our skill points there. Don't need to do that now. I've got to get used to Y being a weapon button. I'm so used to playing Fallout that i got to get used to the controls. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay, so not much we can see with the security lockdown going on. All the doors are closed.
Some spacious choice spam. What do we got here? Gourmet salt tuna. <laughs> and luckily we have our natural health regeneration. Okay. Can't do that, but I can put stuff hold on. X X. What how do I how do I open something? Is there no way to put stuff in here? I know there is. This is where I used to store my stuff. Do I? But how do I do it? Maybe I can't can't do it because I took everything out of it. Is that how it works? I, this kind of sucks. Alright, let's go let's go back out. We'll have to hang on to our suit. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well ma'am, you owe Spacer's choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job, uh huh. You've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right, take care. You, you're in trouble now. I'm going to talk to your your boss. Not just anyone has chosen to enforce landing regulations, you know. I had to fill out four whole forms. I'm glad Kimball lived. He's an important person in the story. Now there is like a camp up here. Right. Yeah, it's up that way. So if we look at our map. This is this little area. This little town area and that's the camp. See, it does. it's nice that it points out that there is buildings. So we can search out this area and see if there's anything interesting real fast. Or not, because there's primal behemoths here, and I don't know if I can kill them. Oh, they're level two. Level four, though. What does it say? A, a monstrous primal with devastating N-ray ground slam. Okay, so there is a chance I could finish them off. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. They're level two and level four. I might be able to pull it off. That was a bad call. That was a bad call. If I had a better weapon, I could probably do it. If I had like an assault rifle, maybe I could pepper the shit out of them. Alright, this is not going to be a good situation for us. Him I could kill super fast, but I'm afraid it's going to wake up the others. Like that. That's that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Okay, run. Run. Nope, 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 nope. Run. Run. Kimball, help me out. Kimball. What did that say? About weak spots? I know they have a weak spot, I just didn't find it. Weak spots and headshots. All enemies have weak spots that inflict extra damage. On humans, shots to the head are extra harmful. But weak spots can be in different places on exotic animals and auto-mechanicals. 
Yeah, let's go up here. I know we can take these assholes. Unfortunately, our pistol and shotgun share the same ammo. But that's fine. Because there's only ammo for small guns, energy weapons, and big guns. They all share the same pool. But it doesn't matter. You get so much ammo in this game. If I remember right, you just get a ton. Now, let's see. Not quite a one shot. He cowered. That was good. Nothing on him, huh? Yep, they just had a nice little camp. Bypass shunt, good. If I need to hack a computer, then I'll need that. Here you can see Edgewater. Beautiful Edgewater. Yes, we can take you out, Canid Alpha. Yeah, we're good. We can take him. Alright, we discovered the lone grave. More importantly, we have a shovel now. I can't remember if do we need the shovel the dig? Is that the thing in this game? I'm not sure. But there's a lone grave out here, and there's a reason why that we'll find out later, I think. Let's go the proper way into town. Here's the graveyard. Go back to the entrance to town. Right here. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Hello, Silas. Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Oh, I didn't idea. even think of that shit. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. <laughs> Do we want to lie? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. That's what my ID cartridge says. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Alright, let's ask him some things. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. As long as we provide our own cradles. 
Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. All right, thank Look, you. You obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Freelancer, yes, of course. Uh, yeah, were well, you offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. <laughs> you make people pay for their own graves. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Yeah, why can't you do this yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Alright, sure. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Right, yeah, where can I find Conrad's him? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Yeah, you're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? <laughs> Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Now what are they after? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Alright, I guess that's you okay. Sorry, did not mean to do that. I can really go for some salty now. Your armed guard, and one of your armed guards just has a saber. Huh? What? Okay. I wasn't dozing off. Let's go outside of town to the landing pad. Now we can go in here, and I believe this is Silas's house. Early retirement. Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaunted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all-expense-paid trip to their new life in Byzantium, the Jewel of Halcyon. Okay, so we can steal some Adreno. I don't know what steel spades, steel shovel. Can't remember. Is there a consequence for stealing? I don't think so. As long as you're not seen, I think you're, you're good. So we'll take his Adreno. Can't can't quite pick that. Ooh, mag picks. Give me. And here's his computer. Spacer's choice. Welcome, Junior and Humor. Messages from the Inhumors Association. Dear reader, you your subscription to the Inhumors. 
and Humor's Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now, and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovels, Gazette, and Quarterly. Okay, this is from Spacious Choice Human Resources. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of Spacious Choice Company. The Spacious Choice family takes care of its own from cradle to grave. Gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Spacious Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable spacious plots? Custom engraved headstones and monograms, complimentary eulogy, courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spacer's Choice brand gravesite. Burial invoice password required. Hack 1, bypass. Theodore Granger, cause of expiration, industrial accident, burial status successfully interred in gravesite 13F, fees paid and accounted. In humor's addendum, Teddy's corpse was missing a hand, deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. So this is an interesting thing. Edgewater's there. You got these outs, there's like outskirt buildings that have been abandoned. These were buildings that were being built and just got abandoned. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is still stealing. So this must be his, also his house? I don't know. Whisper Quiet Muzzler, ranged weapon mod, barrel, reduces the noise of each shot. Interesting. Gotten a weapon mod, install it at the install it at the bench. Okay, we can pick this one. We need to find a place to buy mag picks. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and frowned upon. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequence. Right, so there's nobody here, so I can take all this beautiful stuff. A grenade launcher. Alright, you don't say so. I, I, I might like to uh, check out a grenade launcher. Taste the freedom with Spacer's Choice, now with extra added artificial ingredients at no cost. That's the church, the outside of the church. Or the scientific inquiry, whatever they call it. Oh look, there's a ship. All right, here's our man. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I ask for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Uh... Yeah, uh... Silas sent me. He wants the gravesite fees. 
I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Uh, no. <laughs> he sure did, and he's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with mechanical repellent. Why not? Mechanical repellent! A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Ten bits? Come on, dog. Go on. Yeah, what exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Go on. What is your problem with mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they were programmed to do. <laughs> mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Oh, well, let's join the resistance. I mean, he's very convincing. Let's join the resistance. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spacer's chaw. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Yeah, I, I think proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. 75 for that. He only threw in 10 for the mechanical repellent. I mean, come on. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. All right, the blue glowy square thing. That's all we need to know. Let's close this door. Steal some stuff. Give me that. Sure. Yeah. Give me that. Oh, I only got one. One mag pick. But we do got a silent modification. Jock weapons are built for the discerning warrior who wants a custom and personalized weapon just like everybody else. Hilarious. Okay, so let's see if we can modify our pistol. We'll do this one. Install mod. Okay. No, it only takes mag magazine mods. Same with this one. So we can't put a barrel on it, but we can put a whisper quiet barrel on our grenade launcher. Okay, makes perfect sense. Yeah. Alright, let's take this. Okay. God, okay, hold on. Re equip this, take this off. Put this one that's in way better condition on. Now, how do I... Inspect? Okay, no, that's not what I want to do. Options. Equip, swap, breakdown, repair. So if I break down that, and I break down my other pistol, if I go to options here, oh I can't repair because it's 100%, duh. I could repair this. Where does it show my weapon parts? Okay, in the top left corner I have 15 weapon parts. And this junk I can sell. And luckily for us, there is a bunch of um, 
machines right here. Check the Spacious Choice machine. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation or a hack skill of 40. Do I have 20 hack? I guess I must since I can sell things. Yeah, we're good. So we can go ahead and sell all our junk. Anything good in here? Revolver. It's actually not better than the pistol, though. Right? Where does it show the comparison? I'm clicking the compare, but I'm not understanding what it's... Oh, it only lets me compare things like that? That doesn't make sense. How am I supposed to compare it to my own gun, then? That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. 22 damage bleed with a DPS of 110. 41 damage knockback. DPS of 102. Now let's see if we can find some good armor. Ooh, 500 bucks for that, though. Shit. Nothing in there. Thug kit, sure grip. These are very expensive. Oh. Mag picks are restricted. I need to have 40. Lame. What do you have? Oh, you got you got some guns. Sniper rifle. Hunting rifle with an extendo sight. Alright, let's not spend the money yet. We might find one. More shotguns. We already got a free one though, because we're the best. Damn, I need to get up to where I can buy mag picks. This one has a trip blade. Originally created as a farming tool, this two-handed bladed weapon was quickly found to be adaptable for different situations, specifically in the defense of farmers against hostile creatures. Fair enough. Light machine gun. Oh, we can't pick it. I was going to say, you can go in there and steal a bunch of stuff, but I guess we can't actually do that. Now, can we climb up this stuff? I remember there being a way to climb up here. Here we go. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Oh, is that it? It's just worms? Right, let's go check out the scout that he was telling us about.
What is this? Assistant. Kane Van Acker, Spacious Choice Ethologist assigned to Terra 2. This week I have decided to study Terra Ray mating habits. The female Terra Rays leave their nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. Don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistants. Well, your assistant died. Alright, now we have a bunch of lava, which we will certainly not die if we jump in. Oh, who's there? Who's there? Terror rays. Makes sense. He was observing the terror ray mating habits. Good. Should have paid attention, I guess. I'm not actually sure if you can actually... If you could actually live down there in the lava. I know you can get up to the top of the mountain. Okay, let's go to our journal. Die robot. Should be right here, yes. Oh, we got some marauders. Takes eight ammo per shot. Ooh, dropped a light machine gun for me. DPS three hundred twenty. It's just very hard to aim, and also I don't have the ammo. I don't have the ammo to be spamming a light machine gun right now. Alright, here's the junkyard where we can find our scout robot. It's gonna kill everybody. Combat drone. I see a treasure chest in there. Nice, Nightingale Step. Decreases noise made. And a fun time barrel. That's worth wow, that's valuable. Very valuable. Spacious Choice All in One Frozen Dinner featuring signature sauce. Fried chicken, mashed spectrum potatoes, and spiced mock apples. I'd try it.
Alright, you. You devil. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. 38 engineering is what we need for this. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Navigation systems have determined this location as Spacer's Choice. Designated Mechanical Repair Bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a Spacer's Choice Mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor. Alright, now we could just destroy him. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to wait until we have a, a new companion that can help us out. Almost missed some valuable items. Oh yeah, that's a funny thing I remember. All the windows are fake. Okay. Let's go inside. 